With The Joker 2 on the way, we've been ruminating on what might happen in the sequel and coming up with 10 bold predictions which may come true. While DC fans pretty much universally loved The Joker, one criticism of the film was that the character of Arthur Fleck wasn't very Jokerish and is much more Travis Bickle than the Joker. You're talking to me? That led many to theorize that Arthur isn't the actual Joker in this DC universe, but the one who inspired the Clown Prince of Crime. Before details of the Joker sequel were announced, many believed that the Folie Adieu title, which translates to Madness for Two, hinted at a second Joker inspired by Arthur Fleck's crime spree. This was reinforced by a leaked set video of Arthur being chased by a number of other characters in clown outfits. While this isn't all strong evidence, we couldn't rule out the possibility of there being a second Joker in the sequel, one who could even act as an adversary for Arthur later down the line, or the second Joker could act as Arthur's long-term successor. Did you feel that way? One of the main reasons that the Joker didn't feel all that Jokerish is the absence of his chief sparring partner, Batman. While a young Bruce Wayne did make an appearance in the movie, we missed seeing him in a cape and cowl. But with his parents' death taking place at the hands of the Joker mob, an angry Bruce Wayne might be out for one thing, Vengeance. For this to make sense, there would need to be quite a serious time jump from the first movie, but that isn't outside the realm of possibility. And to see Arthur being hunted down by a merciless Batman in a similar vein to the Korean movie I Saw the Devil would make for some great entertainment and could make way for someone like Jensen Ackles to finally play the Cape Crusader. Or maybe they could save something like that for a live action adaptation of the Arkham Asylum comic. Now we all know that Arthur is an unreliable narrator and prone to his flights of fancy, such as his made-up relationship with Zazie Beetz in the first movie. So could his new relationship with Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn also be a product of his imagination? Or perhaps the opposite is true, and the relationship is dreamed up by an emotionally repressed Harley who has become infatuated with Arthur. I couldn't rule out either option, but using a similar twist as the first movie again may be a touch repetitive. Going back to the first entry in this video and keeping on with Harley Quinn at the same time, could the Joker sequel introduce Arthur and Harley's son, who is the actual Joker? It feels possible that the product of the infamous duel's Folia Du leads them to having a child together, who then grows up to become their very own homicidal maniac. I mean, imagine your mom being Harley Quinn. You wouldn't stand a chance. The movie could either end with them having a child, or flash forward to Arthur's either young or adolescent progeny putting on the face paint himself. But while we have been focusing on one of Batman's enemies, could another one end up stealing the show? In set photos, banners in the background can be seen reading, Dent is a clown, which not only pretty much confirms that District Attorney Harvey Dent, who of course becomes the villain Two-Face, will be appearing in this movie, but it could also be foreshadowing his demise and fall into villainy. Also, the reference to a clown could suggest that he is a target of Arthur and his Joker mob, and subtly suggest that by the end of the movie, he may be one of their number. But who could be playing Dent? Banshees of Inishirin actor Brendan Gleeson has been cast in an unspecified role in the movie, which could mean he is playing Dent. Another character not in the first Joker movie was Batman's ally, Commissioner Jim Gordon. With Murray Franklin's high-profile murder and riding on the streets, Jim Gordon may have to be the man to try and clean up the mess, meaning he could play an important role in the Joker sequel, and Gleeson would certainly make for a great casting. While the first Joker was clearly an homage to Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver and King of Comedy, could the sequel make reference to another classic movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? With its asylum setting, comparisons can be quickly made, and perhaps The Joker 2 follows Arthur trying to escape the asylum in a similar fashion to Jack Nicholson's Randall in Cuckoo's Nest, although hopefully without the same grim ending. Perhaps in Arthur's delusions, he turns Dr. Harleen Quinzel into the Harley Quinn we all know, as opposed to the Nurse Ratched character she actually is. That's a twist I can get behind. Is that it? Is that crazy enough for you? As we mentioned, Arthur is an unreliable narrator, meaning that a number of events that took place in Joker have to be taken with a pinch of salt. But some bold theorists are claiming that basically everything we saw in the original movie was false and were a product of Arthur's delusions. Therefore, Joker 2 could rewind the events of the first movie and bring about the actual origins of the Joker. I think this one is rather unlikely, but at this point, we can't rule anything out. The first Joker broke records, including becoming the first ever R-rated movie to make over $1 billion. And to add to its acclaim, it also picked up a number of Oscars as well. Seeing how good of an actor Joaquin Phoenix is and how he crushed playing the character the first time around, we would be far from surprised to see him picking up another Academy Award, which would make him the first actor ever to receive two Oscars for portraying the same character in different films. If there's anyone who could break that record, it's Joaquin Phoenix. Speaking of records though, as we mentioned, The Joker was the first R-rated movie to make over $1 billion, and there's no reason to think that the sequel can't do it all over again. If that were to happen, it would make the movie the first ever R-rated musical to make over $1 billion. But then again, I think that is quite a shallow pool, to be honest. But what do you think? 
Do you think any of these predictions will come true? Or do you have your own bold prediction for the movie? Let us know and make sure to subscribe to the channel for all this and more. I'm not wasting my time. I, I'm glad to do it. It's important to me.